What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Anique, I'm a classical pianist and it's time for the 50k Q&A. <laughs> I asked you to put your questions in the comments, but <laughs> there were so many questions. I'm sorry I can't answer all of them. Before we get started, I wanted to say thank you again for following, for listening, for watching. I feel very honored to have such a big audience here on YouTube and also on Instagram. And uh, yeah, you're just a really great online community. <laughs> so I don't want to talk too much. Let's get started with the Q&A. <laughs> Okay, let's see. First question. As a classical pianist, what is your relationship with popular music? Do you study it? Do you listen to it? Do you ignore it? Do you separate it as classical and popular? Well, um, I do listen to popular music, maybe even more than to classical music in my free time because I'm working on classical music for like the whole day long, so I don't really want to listen to music in general in my free time. I wouldn't meld it together, there is a, like a very very big difference for me between classical and popular music, but still I wouldn't say that the one is better than the other. <laughs> okay, next question. What's your favorite piano piece to play of all time? My favorite is Chopin Sonata Op. 35 in B flat minor. It's, it's the sonata with the Marche Funèbre and I especially love this third movement. I don't know why. Actually, I'm a very happy person, but I just love this movement so much. Especially this middle part, it's so beautiful. Next question. Have you ever learned another instrument? Not really, no. <laughs> Who is your favorite composer? Chopin and Mozart. The pianist you respect the most. Oh, um, there are a couple of pianists, like, especially... Christian Zimmermann, Evgeny Kissin, and Marta Agerich, and Rubinstein. Your favorite periodic style? Uh, I think, I would say romantic, but also classic. Maybe it's like something in between. <laughs> Have you ever thought of quitting piano playing? That's a good question. <laughs> um, there was never a moment where I thought about, like seriously thought about giving up and quitting and like maybe just for some seconds when I was super frustrated. Um, but in general, I couldn't imagine my life without this instrument anymore. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no, I never thought about this. Do you like anime? Do you know an anime called you are lying in April. Yes, and yes. <laughs> I love watching animes. I, I also watched You are lying in April. Right now I'm of course watching Attack on Titan. <laughs> Who else? Put in the comments. <laughs> when did you learn to play piano and did you have a teacher for it? I started at the age of five. And yes, I started directly with a teacher, but I learned to read scores before having my first piano lesson, so I, I could read the scores before I knew the keys. <laughs> what do you think are the five easiest Chopin etudes? <laughs> uh, well, first of all, I don't think that I would call any of them easy. <laughs> so maybe you can say that some of them are less hard, but still all of them are super, super, super hard. You know, after studying all of them, I really don't want to rate them. I know that there are many people who would say that the slower Chopin etudes are less hard, but to be honest, I feel like they are extremely hard. There is still a very difficult technique hidden. Um, it's maybe not this virtuoso technique, but a sound technique, and it's so, so difficult to play this. And um, I don't want to rate anything here. <laughs> I could say like which were the hardest one for me, technically. Opus 10 number 1, 2, um, Opus 25 number 6. Or maybe it, Opus 10 number 4 was also very hard because it's one of the etudes where you have to combine a lot of different techniques so you're not concentrating on only one technique and that, that was uh, also one of the hardest, yeah. Okay, next question. What languages do you speak? 
German, English, Chinese, and a little bit French, but this does not really count. I mean, like, I can only do some basic stuff. Uh, like... Wait, I have to think. Pourrais-je avoir... Pourrais-je avoir... Un pomme... Un jus de pomme, s'il vous plaît? Okay, again. Pourrais-je avoir un jus de pomme, s'il vous plaît? Are there days where you don't play because of no motivation? Of course, there are days where I'm not motivated, but, you know, it's my job. <laughs> so, I just force myself to practice, at least the parts where I know that I need to practice every day. So I don't, I wouldn't practice that much, um, maybe just two or three hours. But sometimes, if you're too tired or really not motivated and you can't stay focused, I think it's better to not practice because you're just practicing mistakes and it takes more time to get rid of all these mistakes so I would rather not practice at all and just rest for one day and then continue on the next day but then I really have to continue <laughs> how many years have you been playing piano uh, I have been playing for 20 years now nearly 21 <laughs> I'm so old <laughs> why and where did you study the piano I studied music at the University for Music and Performing Arts in Stuttgart. Why? Because I wanted to. <laughs> I'd like to ask about your bookshelf behind you, specifically about the collection of red white books on the top shelf. Ah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and those big five white books with rainbow on it. Here, these are mangas. <laughs> My mom, she brought them from Taiwan and the the ones with the rainbow on it, encyclopedia, is this the correct word? Encyclopedia. And encyclopedia. <laughs> From my dad. Uh, so these books behind me, I don't really have a connection to them except of these one. These are my scores. <laughs> okay, so far for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, yeah, see you soon. Bye.